Yeah, so usually I show this to you at the end, but molds came in. Look how awesome these are. Yeah, these look really cool. And you're gonna wanna watch this video because there's a mess I made. Like, this was a hot mess making this lure. Since this was my first time ever doing an injection molding, it was pretty entertaining, so keep watching. Let's go. I'm gonna stop doing that. But yeah, these are awesome. Just watch the video. Plastisol is hot. You guys already know what we're making since you saw the intro video, which was different than normal. But let's see how I made those colors. First off, I wanna do like a kind of lightish blue color. So I'm gonna use a fluorescent blue with white because I really don't have a light blue color. Let's, let's do that in this one. So let's add, let's shake up our fluorescent blue. And as you know, probably our molds did come in. So that's good news. We can start using some of those. Two, three, four, five. There's five drops of the fluorescent blue. And let's do a couple drops of the white just to maybe balance it out or make it just a little thicker. One, two, three, four. Let's give that a stir and see what it looks like. We are going to be using some of the new molds and we're going to be doing a laminate. So it's going to be uh, two colors. So that'll be, that'll be different. Okay, I kind of think I want it a little more blue. Let's put a couple more drops of our fluorescent blue in. And by a couple, I mean like a couple squirts. There we go. Maybe I didn't need the white. Alright, that's kind of what I was going for. This is already starting to thicken up pretty fast. Alright, we're going to add this hologram flake or kind of color shifting flake. I don't know if you can see it, it's like a bluish green. So let's dump some of that in. And we're going to dump a little bit of silver flake. Alright, we're going to give that a stir, throw it back in the microwave. And then the other half is going to be a light caramel color. And we'll start. Yeah, that's gonna look good. All right, let's throw this in the microwave and let's start doing the caramel color. There's that. And like I said, we want this to be pretty light. So let's start what, we're working with a cup of plastic all of each. Two, three, four. Let's give it a stir and see. There's four drops. It has a couple little black flakes in it, which is fine. You think that's, it's pretty light still. Let's do a couple more. Okay. We're gonna go with that, no matter how it looks. Now it's kind of dark. Okay, throw some silver flake in it. And I'll show you, well, I really don't need to show you. You already know what mold we use from the intro video. But it's kind of a dual purpose mold. I mean, you can use those crawls. I'll just, I'll just show you. I'll show you when we're done with this. All right, let's throw these in the microwave and let's do our first, our first pour. That, that one is hot. That looks really good. As soon as the other one comes out in the microwave, we will start injecting. Probably should have looked, but I think this is the top. I want the, don't want the blue or the brown on top. Or caramel. Let's go with the caramel on top. All right. 
right. There's our caramel. This is going to look good if I can, if I can actually do it. Hope this isn't a waste. All right, let's get this ready. Do I need, I don't need this, do I? No. Get rid of that. All right, we have this there. Let's give this a try. Maybe if I can lift this up, there it goes. And get that on. My hand's kind of blocking it, isn't it? Well, I honestly don't know if that's gonna work. I think I waited too long because my hand was blocking it. Oh, shoot. We had a mess. Yep, we have a mess. I have no idea what happened there. I have a feeling that's not gonna work. We have a mess there to clean up. So that went a lot of our blue. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work because a lot of it came out of the injector still. I was not prepared for that. Mm, yeah. So if you guys are doing this for the first time, like I said, I'm no pro with this. I am learning as I go. So there's going to be a lot of errors like this. So what do I do now? First, let's just take a look at this because I think that's going to look good. Those colors together. Okay, we're gonna take a little break while I clean this up and that cools down. I guess we can go ahead and open this up see what it looks like. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned that up yet. I'm gonna have to let it cool. I could probably shut the fan off too. I hope it's not too loud. But yeah, that's... That's gonna look good. I have a feeling though that these really didn't turn out. That is hot. Wear gloves. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not gonna turn out because I didn't feel like a lot of plastisol went into it. So hopefully round two goes a lot smoother than this. But we'll throw this back into the blue and this black into black, this back into our caramel and we'll try again. All right, this is still really hot, but let's open this up just to see how much of a mess this really is. I bet you this didn't even get half of them. I don't think we're gonna have one full one. You can really tell I'm positive on this one. All right. Huh. Okay, so it actually did fill up. It definitely wasn't ready to open. Okay, I'm just trying to think here. Our caramel definitely needs to be darker. I think our blue is pretty good. Let's hold one of these up so you guys can see. There's our blue. Whoop, there we go. Let's lighten this up. There we go. Blue. There's the caramel side. So the caramel side looks kind of maybe greenish a little bit just because I think it's too opaque and you can see the blue. But we're gonna definitely do this again. So we're gonna add a little more to the blue, a little more to the caramel, and we're gonna try it again. We gotta redeem ourselves after that. I'm still really surprised that that actually worked. I was for sure they were going to be going to be halfway empty. But there's the caramel side. There's our blue side. 
Actually, I think the blue looks good. I think all we're really gonna do maybe is just make the caramel side a little darker. But I'll go ahead and explain. On the website, these are called the Rippin' Creature Crawl. And the reason for that is because it's a three and a quarter inch, but you have like a creature bait up here and your crawl down here. You can either fish with it this way, or you can actually rip it in half right there and you have a two inch creature bait and a two inch crawl bait. So you kind of have two lures in one. So yeah, these, like I said, these are bass catching machines and crappie catching machine too. I don't know, there's a little, a little black piece in that one. But all right, let's throw our plastic sole back in the microwave and let's, let's try this again. In case you haven't seen it, this is what the mold looks like. Bow dropped it. That's, I tell you, that's how this whole video is going. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's add some more coloring and let's try this again. Wine color ready to go. She is steaming. But yeah, that looks good. I wish it would focus, but yeah, color looks good. I did add a little more blue and some more caramel, and actually, I even added a little bit of white. So we'll see, we'll compare the second one we do to this one, we'll see how much of a difference it is. Let's get ready to do this again. That's right. All right, I bet we're good now. We'll give it one more stir and we're gonna do this. Let's just move this up here. Maybe give me a little more room to work with. Okay. Stir our flake around. Injectors oiled. Let's get these close together. Try number two. Get these on there. Oh, this is the hardest part. And push. That one felt a lot better. Okay. Now let's see if I can get that. There we go. Much more of a success. As long as it turned out. I mean, I guess this one may not turn out. It seemed like it went a lot smoother though. All right, let's get my gloves off and We'll kind of hold this up to the camera so you can see, see the colors. Like I said, I darkened this one a little bit. So, yeah, I think this one will turn out, turn out pretty good. We probably have a lot more caramel. Let's just top this off a little bit. Just in case. And that sun's coming right in through that window now and it is bright. Let's take a look at this. Mm, let's see. It's a little better. Yeah, those look, those look a lot better together. That uh, really looks like <laughs> looks like a caramel candy or something. But yeah, as long as those turned out <laughs> and they look like this, we should have we should have a good looking bait. Is it bait or lure? I don't know. I call it both. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's wait. Should be ready to go. Should be. See, that's kind of why I added a little more to the top. It still sucked it down. Oh, that sun. Yeah, remember, this is not the time of day to record. Or I just need to get 
get a shade or something. Let's, let's adjust this. I do that every time, but. Okay, well, this side looks pretty good. I haven't even flipped it around to see the other side yet, but everything looks like it turned out. And let's take a look. Oh, yeah, those look, those look good. I did something right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like those. What do you guys think? This might, I say this every time, but this again might be one of my favorite ones. Okay. These are looking good. I probably will make as much as this can and throw it up on the website at 99strikes.com if you wanna grab yourself some of these. Like I said, this is called the Rippin' Creature Crawl. I believe I'll probably make some other colors too. I don't know, you can just head to the website and see what we have. But yeah, these are, these look good. If you would like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, and I can't forget my boy Dax. He just started a new YouTube channel. He does a lot of fishing, duck hunting, stuff like that. So make sure you give him a follow. I, I believe his YouTube channel is shooting reels, but check him out. I'll have him in the description below. But yeah, he's like I said, go show him some love, subscribe to his channel. He's new to the YouTube game. I mean, so am I, I guess I've only been doing this for about a month and a half, but he's been doing it for a couple days. So go show him some love. Go to the website, 99strikes.com. See if there's something there you can, you like. And, oh yeah, let me show you some of the other molds that we got. So we got new molds, new molds, new mold, new mold, new mold. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming soon with some new molds. And actually, I believe our last mold just came today. Neighbors just started to mow, so this is definitely a good time for me to stop. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment down below if you like the lures, maybe if you have a color option for me to do. Make sure you go follow Dax. His stuff will be in the information below. Shooting reels, I believe, but see you guys next time. Now there ain't nothing to it, go ahead and bring a lie thorn Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone Y'all can catch the wave that I am on I am icon, y'all are wide wrong Think that I'm a reconcile bond So ain't nothing to it though This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Keep it a true to form, 10 L's into a milli though But they already knew that those for well to your opinions Know that he is something uh -huh. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know